speaking of uh, something you probably can't say enough, but it's isn't it the glycerol from the free fatty acids that is majorly forming the methyl glyoxal, and that is uh, essential for the advanced glycation end products that are blamed on glucose? <laughs> yeah, and especially in the presence of polyunsaturated fats, the methyl glyoxal starts the breakdown, and then those fragments of linoleic or arachidonic acid uh, or, or the the higher uh, DHA and the EPA, uh, uh, those breakdown fragments uh, uh, amplify the so-called uh, 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 glycation. Uh, it's predominantly a, a PUFA uh, a deterioration that uh, count, counts as as a, a, a glycation. And if the person was like hypoxic and and the sugar was using uh, or uh, tr being converted into lactic acid, that could contribute to the, the um, uh, methyl glyoxal too, but not, not nearly as much uh, as the, the glycerol? Uh, um, I, I think by shifting the, the redox in that direction, I think it probably uh, it intensifies that methyl glyoxal uh, metabolism. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, the, the presence of, uh, uh, w once you get that shift towards uh, uh, lactate, uh, you're, you're uh, shifting uh, against carbon dioxide, and carbon dioxide is a direct uh, uh, blocker of the uh, protein uh, glycation or glycosylation. Uh, you, you form uh, in, in Blood uh, physiology, uh, they talk about uh, the formation uh, of uh, carbamino uh, uh, hemoglobin. Uh, the carb carbamino uh, uh, reaction is recognized perfectly well. Uh, high, higher concentration, uh, uh, the carbon dioxide forms a compound with the amino group uh, of the, the hemoglobin protein. And that pulls electrons through the protein, uh, increasing uh, the the acidity uh, and uh, uh, affecting the affinity of the hemoglobin uh, uh, for uh, oxygen, depending on uh, how much carbon dioxide is competing uh, uh, for, for the electrons in the system. And the, what they don't talk about is that Wherever in the body you have similar amino groups on proteins, carbon dioxide, when it reaches those uh, levels, is going to form carbamino compounds of, of whatever protein you're talking about, uh, which could be uh, uh, insulin uh, uh, itself or, or uh, the various receptors uh, on uh, uh, cells uh, all the way through a cell, uh, wherever uh, a so-called receptor has an exposed amino group, carbon dioxide is going to form a carbamino compound, uh, shifting electrons. Uh, uh, so the the process that happens, everyone knows it happens in in hemoglobin, uh, but they. Uh, neglect the, the uh, physical chemistry that says it, it has to happen wherever you have carbon dioxide uh, and amino groups. Uh, uh, so uh, that that's part of uh, how the uh, whole system shifts uh, as a, a unit. Uh, you, you can't talk about uh, individual uh, receptors independently without looking at at how they participate in this uh, global shift uh, towards uh, electron withdrawal.